Okay, I'm ready for 2015, the final collection. Start off with this. One little thing that's a little unknown about it, it's not in the instructions, there is a sensor on the right, left, but also if you put it in the middle, you can actually activate both sides of that. And the knives be coming. First, I'm just gonna scan around my collection. And then I'll go up to each one and talk about it. This is my Shelby police car. <laughs> Only thing, everything else is Star Trek, Star Wars, Voice of the Sea. Has a cool alarm though, this thing. Back to the Futures. The Batmobile. Some the Playmates. Let me get into the higher end stuff. 23rd century build ups. These new Enterprises, I got a couple of these. Um, actually, the whole ship actually lights up. The 91. Hallmark ornament. And I just found out this week that actually, out of all these ornaments, besides the 91 ornament, you heard they did a Comic Con uh, one in Comic Con. They're going for 1,000, it's selling for actually 1,000. But this one, actually, I thought it would just be like the rest of them, but it's actually, you heard this red outfit's actually going for uh, about a, uh, 1 to 200. Hi. So you got Stargate H2O. We'll start with that one. I got open and closed. One closed, one open. Zap gun. Franklin Mint. I put into a master replica cage. A future Enterprise. The three warp drives engines. Jupiter 2. 1701A. Enterprise B. Voice of the Bottom of the Sea. Flying Sub. Enterprise E with Captain Jot. 20th century phase up there with the Vegas communicator. A couple of the cheaper uh, movie 10, 11. And one TNG phaser. Hey, even my screen server's got to have its Enterprise on there. Right? I got the bridge set. On the bottom left and right, you'll see a little Kirk and Spock in the Academy days. Then we got the Franklin Mint, the Enterprise from movie uh, 11 and 12. Another light up Enterprise. Richard Coyle, Red Trigger. Franklin Mint, Enterprise D, and original diecast Franklin Mints. A Picard pa Tapestry, if you don't know what that is, go on eBay and put in Picard Tapestry. Uh, EFX Tricorders, I got about five of these hanging around. That, that one's closed, I keep that one in open position. These are rod.coms, one's science, one's medical. Got a scanner in the back of the med and another one here. The new wand phase are really cool, incredible. 35 second overload. Amazing. And of course, the 
builds up to a nice bright white light before it explodes. V lasers from 1984 miniseries. Some uh, Rathacon phaser, original movies. And these wand phasers, I got, I bought seven of them. Think Geek sells them, 105 bucks on sale and they're 30% off. Uh, another red trigger coil. This is a Federation surplus. Really cool. He did some nice work, Brent. Um, Master Africa, Shatner, Nimoy, Communicator, Nimoy, Phaser. Next Generation Phaser, Master Rep, uh, Tricorder, EFX Tricorder. This, uh, this one, actually, it's the only one I like the batteries in. I uh, can't forget. Danger, Danger Will Robinson. The robot. I put two phases in his hand. My sensors indicate an intruder is present. And Kirk in his chair. <laughs> the Batmobile. They made three different versions of that. From thirty hundred and a three hundred dollar one. Assault phaser. Cleon. A Shatner communicator, Master Rep, another one, and my Shatner phaser, Master Rep. A couple of built up Cobras. Diamond Select, the Science Medical, and Geo, with a couple of P1 Hall Monks in there. Captain Pike and the Cage communicator, Master Rep. Hang it up. Tricorder. Voyager. Yep. Richard Coil. Number one out of 25. This is actually the very first one he made on the 25 run. Uh, the only thing is, you know, the sound is a little bit low on this. The the P1 does come out. It's the three prong one. These are uh, a diamond select uh, phases up here. I've added um, a lot of um, LEDs in the P1s. Um, you got a gray on gray, which is, uh, actually it's an unusual one. I painted these bronze handles here. Overload on that one. Put a light on that. That's my three Vegas uh, communicators here. An IPI. That's a Frank Limit P1. The walkie talkies, some playmates down there. Uh, JTK communicator. I think this is a Stein built. Um, and a Todd Machisho, which I can never pronounce his name. Phaser in there, mint vibration overload, all that cool stuff. Another EFX tricorder. Another Batmobile. This actually had hand done. Um, this has every single detail into it. That's 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 a model kit that was. Uh, I had someone who built that. This is uh, Frank Limit Insignia set one of two. This is, I just have the one. This is the COA for the Todd on here. He looked at it, he says it was the fifth one out of only 10 that he built and said he wished he kind of kept that one. When in 2007 he gave me this to me. This is the Richie Coil, where he actually wrote it's number 126. The first one sold by Rod.com. And uh, this is a COA from Rich for.